I think my Hogwarts letter got lost in the mail. Ah! Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone! I'm the Global Cherry and today we'll be discussing the newly released gameplays and what to expect in this newest update of Hogwarts Legacy. Before we begin, grab some butterbeer and enjoy the show! February 10th is approaching and our adventure in Hogwarts begins as a fifth year in the late 19th century. We hold the key to an ancient magic secret while facing dark wizards and Red Rock's mounting goblin rebellion. We can choose the type of wizard to be, solve puzzles, brew potions, and care for magical creatures like nifflers and hippogriffs. As the protagonist, we have the ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic and solve mysteries. What's new in this Potterhead's dream? Well, WB Avalanche had recently invited influencers and journalists to an exclusive preview of Hogwarts Legacy in Leavesden, giving them early access to the game. I wasn't invited because I'm a small fry. Perhaps I will get a chance to experience these events someday. <laughs> yeah, someday. This week, we got hours of footage providing more insight on what to expect for Hogwarts Legacy, and I'm breaking them down. We can customize our character from complexion, hair color, eyebrow shading, body type, vocal pitch, gender, and name before adjusting to our routine Hogwarts life. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Speaking of customization, I've seen at least three creators customize their characters similar to Harry Potter. And from their choices, Larry Potter was born, the boy who breathed. Attend classes like Herbology and open your inventory for necessities. Explore different rooms like the courtyard, library, or defense against the dark arts tower. Learn life hacks from other students. Why carry your books when they can float above you? Big brain skills. Get gossip from the students on matters like what the teachers are up to, a troll sighting, or restricted areas to venture in. Did you hear that Professor Binns died one night and showed up to class the next day as a ghost, unaware of his death? Let's not scare him to death by telling him. The game encourages us to be nosy with additional side quests. They are from the restricted section. Reading yes, can be as I mean, magical as shut up. Let's hope that our plans do not get scuffled by our Slytherin headmaster, Phineas Nigellus Black. He is played by Simon Pegg and is the least popular headmaster in the history of Hogwarts. In the gameplay, we can even hear a student mention transferring to Beau Baton just to get away from him, but she can't speak French. I thought about transferring to Beau Batons just to get away from Professor Black and his eyes. <laughs> He is the great-great-grandfather of Sirius Black. Bellatrix Lestrange and Narcissa Malfoy are also his great-great-grandchildren. This selfish and pompous headmaster will become an annoyance and hindrance to the players. He was also the last Slytherin headmaster of Hogwarts before Professor Snape. If you like Quidditch, you may hate Phineas Black. From a bunch of Ravenclaw students, you will discover that he has banned Quidditch on campus. You can still fly around Hogwarts on a broom, including their familiar Quidditch pitch. You can even give your broom a speed burst. Professor Black was terrible before he decided to cancel Quidditch. Phineas won't be the only character causing you trouble. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. We'll also meet the troublesome peeves in the castle from the mobile Hogwarts game. He's waiting to annoy you. But since the game is not out yet, he's harassing a poor Hufflepuff student instead. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim! Whee! I'll get you for this. Spellcasting may look easy in Hogwarts, but the devs made sure that we have to work for it. Do you remember the spell Elohomora, the spell used to open doors? Well, it's a lockpicking minigame. If you don't like lockpicking, this may be a problem. In the gameplay, there are interesting details like inanimate objects springing to life, flapping parchment included, chests all over Hogwarts, flu flame locations to teleport, and possibly students losing control of gravity. Someone help the student. You will also notice a Draco Malfoy reference from a student who mistakenly casted a weather spell on himself. Wait till I tell my father. You wait till my father hears about this. You can interact with pretty much everything within the castle. The game also lets you pet the cat. 10 out of 10 game. Want to help your Hogwarts friends? We can help our companions Natsai Onai from Gryffindor, Poppy Sweeting from Hufflepuff, and Sebastian Sallow from Slytherin in a variety of side quests. People did mention that our Ravenclaw companion could be Amit Thakar. Apart from these characters, you can talk with pretty much any student you run into at Hogwarts with a quest. Lenora Everlay is a Hufflepuff that wants you to investigate the mystery behind the empty painting frames at Hogwarts. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. 
You will be finding items like moths to return to empty paintings. Are you interested in dueling other students? Lucan Brattleby is a Gryffindor student who coordinates duels for the Crossed Wands. Beat Sebastian Sallow at a duel, and you'll get an invite to the Crossed Wands. You will be matched with other duelists, and whoever standing last wins a prize. You can also lock onto enemies, change targets, use a wide combo of spells, and break through yellow shields with control spells like Levioso. Apart from dueling, you can't cast spells on any random Hogwarts student. Infiltrate Horntail Hall with Poppy Sweeting to destabilize a dragon fighting ring owned by poachers. This will happen after you rescue the Hippogriff Highwing with Natsai Onai. From our dialogue with Poppy, we discover that the poachers have orders from Victor Rookwood, a dark wizard, to capture us on sight. Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? We also notice that the group is producing goblin metal, which could be because Rookwood and Ranrock are in cahoots with each other despite goblin and wizard beef. Our character and Poppy will also meet centaurs in the mission, who are unhappy about poachers and wizard kind in their territory. We keep showing up to their home uninvited, so it's understandable. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? Fight the loyalist warrior goblins and poachers using spells like Depulso, as well as other familiar spells. There's even a combo streak for every flurry of spells you use. Rescue a helpless dragon with Poppy and defend it using Confringo, and toss projectiles at enemies using R1. Their bodies will fly like weightless ragdolls at the mercy of our command. If you're hurt, heal your injuries with the Wiganweld potion. At the end of the Horntail mission, you get to own a Hebridean dragon egg while its mother went to get milk in the store. I wonder when she's coming back. The dragon mystery has finally been resolved, but what makes the beasts act more aggressively? Poppy hinted that it could be something in the water. How dangerous can you get in this game? Benjamin Snow shared on Twitter of us casting a fire tornado on another wizard. This could prove that our character can shift to the dark side. Incendio is a common spell used to set opponents on fire. Turn the heat up towards your dueling partner, and they'll become charcoal. You can become so evil that Voldemort will look like a baby next to you. Oh wait, he kind of already does. One journalist in particular spotted the Crucio spell on the protagonist's combat hotbar. If you pre-order this game, you will get an Onyx Hippogriff. If you get the Deluxe Edition, you can have a Thestral as a mount. How can you get powerful bonus content? Well, first, make a WB Games account. Also make a Harry Potter fan club account, do a house test, get your wand, your Patronus, and transfer that info into your Hogwarts legacy character. Once you link those accounts, you will get a beaked skull mask and house fanatic robes on your first day at Hogwarts. There are four save files for each game, so you'll be able to go through every single house in Hogwarts Legacy. You can change your wand and house within the game during the proper ceremonies. Once you've locked into those, you won't be able to switch them. Let's try the Harry Potter fan club quiz to get my Patronus house and wand. Looks like I'm a Slytherin. Awesome! I love their underwater common room. It also looks like my Patronus is an Osprey and my wand is Aspenwood. There's also an explanation on the website for the meanings of our wand and Patronus. Let me know what house, Patronus, and wand you get after making a Harry Potter fan club account. Just letting you know, you're not bound by the results from these tests in the actual game. But you can forward the results in there. Are you excited for the Hogwarts Legacy game in February? Let me know in the comments. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. Thank you for watching, and that's all. Mm -hmm.